Saving your skin, it only takes five sunburns to double your risk of developing melanoma. Just think about that, five sunburns your whole lifetime. <laughs> With one in five Americans expected to develop skin cancer by the age of 70, it is important to take precautions. Dr. Bentley Dunan is an assistant professor at UF Health Gainesville, who's joining us via Zoom this morning to talk more about melanoma. Good morning, thanks for being with us. Good morning, thanks for having me. So we are seeing a rise in melanoma cases. Would you explain melanoma and, and most importantly, why it is so important to catch any irregular skin spots early? Absolutely, no, thank you for, for having me and for bringing some awareness to this. So melanoma is, is really a, a skin cancer that I, I treat every day and it's it's something that a lot of Americans need to have a little bit more information about. It, it's not the most common skin cancer, thankfully. We actually have two other types of skin cancer that many more Americans are gonna face, but it's one of the more deadly ones because it takes very small size melanomas and, and very little disease to really contribute to some scary risks. And so our bodies naturally try to protect us from, from UV radiation. And so as we're exposed to sunlight, where our body's getting pummeled with dangerous UVA and UVB rays, the UVA rays are really what leads to skin aging, but the UVB rays penetrate through those outer layers of our skin and really damage the DNA of our skin cells. And so when it damages the DNA of the cells that produce melanin, the, the cells that we think of that help us get a tan or that cause our skin to have coloration, those cells can form mutations and over enough time develop into melanoma. The scary thing about melanomas is that they can remain quite small, but then they can leave the skin and go to other parts of the body, what we call metastasis. And that's what makes them so dangerous. It's not the skin cancer on the presence of the skin, it's the fact that it can go where it pleases and really poses a risk to our lives at that point. The benefits are that with all skin cancers, nearly 100% of them have found in an early stage can be cured with simple resection by surgery or in a dermatologist's office. And so it could really be one of the biggest wins that we have in the cancer field, but it's a real daunting task right now, particularly in a state like Florida, where we've got so many beautiful sunny days that we've got a lot that we need to deal with. Yeah, and I want to show, um, you shared some pictures with us also, because while we might all think, well, I'd see a spot on my arm or, you know, maybe my leg, the reality is a lot of times these are hidden in spots that you might not see every day, like your back, maybe along your ear or on your head as well. So these are some examples. I know you shared them with us. What's interesting about the one in the middle is, I mean, I could see how someone would miss that. It's pretty faint. It looks like it's more under the skin, a little raised. Could you talk a little bit about what the warning signs are when we see spots or we talk to our loved ones about spots that they can help us spot on the back on, on, on our backs as an example and how those change over time and why that might be a warning sign absolutely so that that's a great point to bring up we always think that we're going to see some big whopping goomba that's hanging out on our skin that we'll will easily be able to identify but really what we're looking for are just things that appear out of place so there's a couple different philosophies the first is what we call the ABCDEs. And so this is where the irregularities of the, the, the lesion on the skin really help identify that it's something that's more concerning. So A is asymmetry. So if one half of it looks different than the other half, that's a warning sign. B is for border. So ideally these would be round or nearly completely round or oval. But when we see the irregularities like the one on the far right, you can, you can identify that that doesn't seem like a circle or really that it's binding. Now, C is for color, and it doesn't mean being dark in color or being light in color, it's having multiple colors. And you can see on the left, we've got shades of pink, black, brown, tan, there's multiple different periods that we can see within that. D is the easiest one that we identify, and that's diameter. So that's the overall size. And so if you can cover one of these lesions with a pencil eraser, it's typically considered a less dangerous lesion. You can see how the ones in the left and the right would be the problem. Now, this one in the middle poses the biggest concern, but the reason we could identify this is because of the E, which is evolution. So this was evolving, meaning it was growing, and it was growing rapidly. So this doubled in size over the course of months. And thankfully, this patient presented to his dermatologist and said, you know, this just keeps growing. And so that's one of the keys to these features is that these are gonna change over time. We're all born with moles. We all have moles that develop in the first 20 or 30 years of our life and they really shouldn't change. And so one of the biggest things that we can do is just look for that change. Look for the lesions that are changing over time. And this is where your loved one comes into play. You're, you're absolutely right with areas of our back, of our scalp, all the men in the audience, you don't have as much hair as you think you do, myself included. So we need to be mindful of those areas. We think that we still have this big, long, luscious locks of hair, but in reality, that's one of the highest risks of a melanoma location in men. 
And so it's areas that we need help with seeing because we can identify it. And the biggest thing is that if there's anything even remotely concerning to you, just have it looked at, have it evaluated, because in, in that moment, not only can it be evaluated, but it can likely be removed and cured, even if it is a cancer. Excellent advice. Dr. Doonan, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And be sure, coming up tomorrow on The Morning Show, there is a new technology that uh, me that's meant to make diagnosing melanoma even easier. We'll walk you through how a sticker helps cut down on actual cuts and biopsies tomorrow during the 8 o'clock hour.